Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a penalty marker's down on the field. And they might be backing up a bit here to start the drive. Illegal block in the back. Return team. Yeah, this is going to put them back with a not great down. field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. On first and ten, here's Brady. And incomplete to open things up. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. And they'll go with a ground attack here. <laughs> and he'll power his way up near the 25. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Shotgun now for Brady. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. That throw's not going to get them a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talk to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. They go play action here on first down. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. And that one results in 35 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Throwing on first down is Brady. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a gain in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that open things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Now Brady throwing on second down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. 
And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Brandon, unless my eyes deceive me, I think they found a matchup that they're trying to exploit here, don't you? I mean, yeah. that's the second time they've gone to him here on this drive. Yeah, opening drive. It's a tone setter, right? I think they're going to be looking his way a lot. Yeah, and I think that the way things are going right now, they like him as a featured receiver. Yo, Brandon, thanks for the, the raid, brother. Is going to make to try and take that away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That bot is freaking out. That's funny. Yeah, I'm just doing some testing right now. I'm not really playing. I'm just showcasing this roster a little bit. Uh, but I, I appreciate the raid there. He deleted the message. Yo, Nightbot's got to chill. Wow. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score. Yeah, the bot definitely said no. Um, for those who are probably wondering what in the world I'm doing, this is a Madden 2005 roster that I have spent the last two days working on for Madden 19. It's probably my favorite Madden right now. Um, and yeah, I'm in love with it. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I appreciate the raid. <clears throat> I was waiting for uh, my friend Wyatt to get on so we could play, but I've got like. 30 minutes left or something like that so yeah I'm just uh, streaming a little bit of Madden showcasing a roster that I'm I, I basically work on it every day it's kind of a light roster though nothing nothing too extensive honestly I could do pretty much a team a night and be done in a month or yeah about three weeks I could be done because on the weekends I could get a lot done we, I'm just chilling. Played some COD earlier. Didn't stream it though. Um, I probably should have. It actually wasn't that bad. I was rushing around with the M27 and got like a six man with Brown, but I, I, I have my uh, recordings disabled, so no one was able to see it, and I didn't. I said I couldn't. I couldn't save it. But I'm noticing my stream quality is a lot better with all that stuff disabled, so I don't know. Maybe I just need to stream more now. I'll have to figure that one out. I quit worrying about it. I quit looking for it. He says he wants to play until he's 45. Is there any reason to doubt him? His skills have shown no sign of decline. Yes, it is the Patriots versus the Patriots, because I'm only probably going to give everybody a half to watch the teams. And he'll maybe get it back to the 25 here on the first play, but no more than that. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Because I don't have, I've only got it is the life blood of the offense. 30 minutes it's left. I think, I think the game's nasty. run a little bit long. I probably won't have time to, to do a full game. But I'll probably get into the third quarter, I imagine, before I have to end the stream. Well, they have the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the And originally, I wasn't speaking at all during the stream. I was just uh, letting the gameplay roll. And then I saw the raid, and I'm like, okay, I definitely have to talk Brady to throw now. on second down. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect. And try yeah, to I didn't do the equipment. Um, that was one thing that was going to be probably way too tedious. I could maybe go back after I'm done with the roster and do equipment. Ooh, excuse me. Maybe we could go back and do it, but... I just didn't feel like it. I just did. Let's see. I did first name, last name, number, height, and weight, and then I did speed, strength, and awareness for every player. And that was it. And it might sound like a lot. It's a lot of typing, mostly just the name. But it's honestly not. It's not that hard to make these rosters like this if you're making like a quick roster. Visually, like I said, the the equipment is probably what sells 
the roster, but uh, I just I don't know. I might have to come back to it. I have to be thrilled with that first drive that got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice in meetings talking about taking an early advantage, being the road team, going up. Ironically, score, the team the that game, you pick to begin this visual nervous. sim with always gets beat, which would explain why they're not doing very good. The other team. It's like just driving down the field and scoring. By 20, by 20. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10 yard line. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. I was kind of indecisive because I know some people would probably want an updated roster uh, for this game, which is not too hard to do. I'm going to do the same thing that I'm doing now. Um, but the only issue is I only have... Oh, God. I mean, I don't know. Just, I apologize for the yawns, guys. Um, I have Madden 24, I think, through Game Pass. But it only works on Series X, the Series now, S, whatever, the next gen. This game can run on old gen, so then I'd have to like, I'd have to get the ratings from online or something, and then look up each player's height and weight and name and number on a, like NFL.com. It's a lot more tedious. Uh, you just gotta have multiple screens. Like I need my tablet to have maybe NFL.com. My phone needs to have their Madden ratings that are posted online and then obviously uh, my console with the game running. One time I tried doing Madden 19 on my Xbox One and then having Madden 24 on my Series X and like, was doing like remote play so that I could could see the screen and that was just, that was a lot. From the gun, it's Brady. Looking left side, he's got it complete. But I think I got like six or so teams done, and then I just realized that like <laughs> most people like just buy the new Madden every year for like the roster, you know, and they don't really they don't really care about the gameplay. So they just buy the new Madden, you know, because it's got their team and their favorite players, and they just you know go on about their business. They play it very casually. Not saying not saying Madden 19 is um perfect by any means, because there there is some some warping you'll notice on some of the tackles and stuff the guys will kind of like shift a little bit but it's, it's overall not that bad it's pretty pleasant to watch I think it's relatively smooth and realistic but I don't know between I think this is probably probably my favorite but my well, current favorite I should say but my all-time favorite is Madden 25 just because of a fun factor like playing that game is so fun it's probably one of the most fun games I've ever played. the second half and some of these shorter games turn into bigger runs later on second down here's Brady you know what's funny the way that I did the ratings so that's Christian Foria <laughs> it might be Foria I forgot how you pronounce it like it's his speed his strength and his awareness but every other rating is like catching and traffic spectacular catch route running and all that it's it's Rob Gronkowski <laughs> so it's like he's like really quick in and out of his routes but his straight line speed is just terrible um, but it's it's okay so from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. By 20, by 20. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, second down. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. See, I got four more minutes left in the first half. I think I'll, I think I'm gonna end it after the first half because people don't need to sit here and watch a full hour of gameplay. At least, at least I don't think so. Um, 
But yeah, you can clearly see the dark blue One uniforms play, are play. like they're like moving faster, they're blocking better, catching better. Like it's He's it's night and day. Out. It basically penalizes your team. And that one almost intercepted. Yeah, Rams almost had it. Luckily, they made a play. Like, watch when the silver version of the Patriots get the ball. Like, they're not going to play nearly as good. I should probably, after this, work on um, the speed threshold and kind of setting that. The players do look a little slow, just, just a touch. Um, but I'm really trying to strive for animation smoothness if possible, so. That Keith trailer? I did have to adjust the shoulder size on a lot of players. Because when you change their height and weight, it automatically gives them like the most athletic build ever. And most of you guys know offensive linemen just aren't that, like, muscular. Well, every now and then you'll get, like, a lineman with a six-pack. But most of the time they're just big guys, especially defensive linemen. They're really big. Interior defensive linemen. So I basically had to turn turn the shoulders down because they looked like they did nothing but, like, shoulder exercises. And then I had to to add them, like, a belly because they didn't have any. <laughs> So those are some physical, uh, some physical changes that I had to make to their each player's build on the offensive and defensive line. But other than that, the skill positions transformed pretty nicely. I think tight ends got a little bulky. Pretty much once you hit like 240 or something like that, when you're uh, messing with the character, it automatically gives them like a really sculpted build, and it's just not realistic. But it's a really quick fix. Trying to do like juke himself out of bounds, like a loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, it is cool seeing these older players and like new graphics and better looking. I mean, the only thing that's keeping them from looking super realistic would be their equipment. of three on that first down pass play now second and 13. it's really hard though to find a good uh, threshold because i had made a video the other day talking about once you get to a certain speed threshold linemen their movements look un unnatural but if you go too low they they won't get to their blocks in time and that's kind of the issue I was running into. The linemen weren't getting their blocks in time. Um, so right now, it seems like everyone's getting to their blocks when they should, which is which is what I want. Although some of the animations are had sped up, but I I think you kind of have to pick which one you want. You can go zero for absolute animation smoothness, or you can go eight, and it's a little less smooth. But your linemen actually get to their blocks on time, so plays aren't completely ruined because of the like slugs. They're moving moderately fast right now, especially considering that linemen back in the day, like 2004, a lot of them had like 50, 60 speed. Um, now a lot of them have like 60 to 70 in a couple of mid-70s, you know, and high 70s, just a few. Um, so naturally, they are going to be moving slower. Corey Dillon just drug Keith Trailer at 340 pounds. For it's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and but get yeah, set got, as we resume action. I got 20. I got 19 minutes to go, and I've been live for 20 minutes. I might get the full game in. Well, no, because we still got halftime and all these other things. So, yeah, actually, no, that's a good point. I 
just mean to myself right there. At halftime, I'm going to end in the Both stream like this in the second half. Of kick off. As he'll punt it away for the second time. Kind of see what happens. Away, and boy, it's another boomer. This is taken at the 18. I mean, I think I wish my running backs like ran a little bit quicker, but again, the highest speed is only 90. So I'm sure if you get to like Ladanian Tomlinson or like Tatum Bell or one of the guys with like 95, I'm pretty certain they would be significantly faster. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. But I haven't gotten to that team yet. I just did. Uh, I just did the Patriots today and yesterday. I could have did them both. I did play some Call of Duty last night. Make sure my mic wasn't busy this whole time. Um, I think the next team I've got to make is Panthers. I, I believe they were the NFC champions and Super Bowl runner-up. So the Panthers will be next. After, I get, uh, actually, I'm, I'm actually done with the papers. I'm not going to start on them tonight. I've only got like 20 minutes left. I still need to like clip this and then post it to YouTube. Um, yeah. He's got like a lot of these backs back in the day. Like had they had the size to play in the NFL, like five ten, two oh five or something. First down, Pretty stout back. Like the strength is like sixty something, and the speed is like mid eighties. Like they're just not very good. <laughs> I mean, no wonder. Like if you were like an elite athlete back then, you could like be good. Wide open receiver complete, and they're able to get this one across the thirty. It is running there. Boys, what are we doing? Pick up and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go. But yeah, I'll mess around with the threshold tomorrow, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to stream. I don't honestly know how much time I'm going to have to play tomorrow. So the offense takes the timeout. I don't know time I'm going to get ready to work out and shower and eat dinner. I might have an hour and a half. Well, I mean, well, hey, I see an, I see an hour and a half. And about an hour's time to, to basically hour to hour and a half, I can pretty much get a whole team done. Um, yeah, like I said, I didn't do equipment, so that's just one of the things that you'll have to live with. But every player has their height, weight, name, number, speed, strength, and awareness. And what's crazy is, like, unless the player has absolutely dominant stats, like, finesse move, power move, man coverage, and stuff like that, the players play pretty realistic, pretty accurate to to ratings, except maybe Gronk. Well, because, well, Gronk has, like, insane release, spectacular catch, route running, and stuff. But, yeah, I, I think this is... I think this is not a bad, it's not bad gameplay wise. I'm still, I'm going to eventually fine tune the speed threshold, but it's just really hard because the good computer, which is what you're watching now, who have the ball. Ooh, nice pick by Tyrone Poole. Um, see, he can make plays. And like, he's the number, he's the number two cornerback. And I didn't even touch his manner zone. But I gave him his actual awareness, so he he can still make plays. I've noticed. So I'm I'm actually I'm I'm liking it so far. Like I said, Corey Dillon, he did look a little slow when he was playing for the uh, the silver version of the Patriots, but that's just because the difficulty is all mad, and so it's gonna be forcing my air quotes my Patriots to not play as good as the other ones. But hey, we got time. They got three timeouts, 51 seconds. Some Tom Brady at quarterback. Let's get it. It's going to be interesting. I'm thinking about depending on how many people. Let's fall start there, brother. Um, when it comes to free agents, I think I'll do a full team of free agents as well. So. And I'll just make sure, like, so for instance, the full team would be three quarterbacks, three running backs, a fullback, four receivers, right? So I'll make sure that in between, like, the first, after the, no, in between the first three, 
I will make sure there's no outside free agents of any kind. Like, the three highest overalls will be the actual uh, free agents from the Madden 2005 free agency. That way, players can sign people um, and whatnot if they want to, just like they, they just like they do, you know. Although the overalls won't be overly high, I don't think. I could I could be wrong. I like so I think there's like a ninety a couple of ninety overall players in the Madden 2005 free agency, and granted, they're gonna have their awareness and speed and strength at whatever position they're at, but. I don't, I don't think the overall is going to be that. I wish I can give Richard Seymour shorter dreads. Because he has, like, uh, cornrows in his profile picture on Madden 2005. But that was, like, the closest face-beard-hair combination that I could find for him. Um, so as far as the sub packages, like the sub, um, like rush in left, rush in right... Um, rush outside linebacker and sub linebacker. I set it up to be just like it would on Madden 2005. So even in all the sub packages, you have all four defensive linemen. Your number one. And also, too, I did not swap. Ooh, was it buffering? Buffering. Oh, no. One second, guys. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Okay. That was strange. It buffered for a little bit, and then it came back. Um, so... I basically did it one for one in sense of who became what player. If you were the, uh, of course, I let Madden 2005 sort rating, you know, by overall. If you were the number one receiver for the Patriots, you got who, whoever was number one on the 2018 Patriots. And I did that for every position. So even if you had like three receivers with like 84, 82, and 79 or something, on Madden 2005, they just basically got whatever player was slotted in at the positional rotation that they were in. Um, and that's pretty much how I did that. So, I mean, some teams might have like two really good corners, but on here, maybe on 20, the 2018 roster, maybe they only have one. But like I said, he's going to have his speed, he's going to have his strength, and he's going to have his, his awareness. So it, the awareness is not a one-stop fix-all, but I do notice players tend to play a little bit better when they have a higher awareness rating. So um, it's kind of the best I could do.
just pick your resolution and bitrate and go with it. That was like the good days of streaming. That was back We get like random packet loss and all kinds of crazy stuff, but but yeah, we got 10 seconds left to this first half, and then I will do it for this, and then I will be. Um, so that much I did do, because it's three ratings, right? So I basically picked the three ratings that I wanted for that position to be uh, awareness, kick power, kick accuracy. Uh, this should, this is either going to be the last. Unfortunately, with that do the lower, I would, if they would make 1080p 4,500 kilobits per second, I would be so happy. But have it set up 4K instead of 4,500, but pixelates a lot. It's okay. They're just gonna kneel the ball and go into halftime. We'll watch the halftime highlights, assuming they show them. Then we will get out of here after that. We got Rohan Davy as a backup. I totally forgot about him. I mean, I made the roster, but see, it's not even close. The the away team on the left, that was the team that the computer had. They were like significantly better than what I had. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it, guys. Um, I'll get back to working on this roster here in probably a day or two. Just taking it easy, taking it a, a team at a time, maybe a team every two days or something. I know that I know you guys on YouTube. Some of you appreciate Madden 19. Some of you don't. So I can't, you know, force you to to play the roster or anything like that. But yeah, that's gonna do it for me, guys. God bless you. Jesus loves you. It was great.